Hi, I'm Brandon Pierce. Uh, my family and I have been traveling for the past seven years to over 32 different countries, uh, the five of us together, and we often get asked uh, what kind of things we pack when we travel and how do we fill our suitcases and, and what do we bring. Typically, uh, we each have one carry-on suitcase and then one backpack each, or, or a purse or something like that. So uh, today I just want to go over a little bit about my luggage. We're, we're taking a, a trip today, a long trip, from Bali, where we kind of have a home base, over to Victoria, Canada, where we plan to be for the next six months um, as, as a base while well, we travel to several conferences and things in the States. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about, about what's in my luggage here and uh, give you an idea of the kind of stuff that we carry. All right, so this is a bag that I've had for quite a while here. I think I got it at Target. Really nice bag, lots of different compartments, but I'm just leaving this one here in Bali. It's got a few things in it, just boxes for the routers that are set up around the house, and I'm not gonna show you all the stuff I'm leaving because I'm just leaving that. We don't have a lot of stuff, but the stuff that we do have, yeah, we just have like two or three suitcases we keep. This is a suitcase. Whoops. Came unplugged. This is a, a really fancy suitcase that uh, it's called Blue Smart and it has like a lot of really geeky features. I thought it would be really cool to get. I bought it on Indiegogo or something like that. Uh, and it was really expensive. It was like $400, but it has like a GPS built into it. And you pick this up and it tells you how much it weighs. And uh, it's got like charges. You can plug your phone in and charge it. It's a really cool geeky suitcase but I have been kind of, it didn't really match how I was hoping, didn't do everything I wanted. So this opens up, which is really cool, really nice quality in there. You're supposed to be able to put your laptop in there. The thing is I found that it's so heavy and so small that I can't really put a lot in it before it starts getting too, too packed. So it, it's great as a carry-on if you're going on a short trip or if you're, uh, if you're not, you know, if you have other bags that you're taking along with it. Uh, otherwise it's, it's kind of tough if it's the only bag you've got. But let me show you a little bit about what I've got inside of here. So, yeah, I have, <laughs> this is, most of this is kind of junky. You're gonna, gonna laugh, but uh, this is like my little toiletry bag. I've got my electric razor here, which I really like. Let me just open it and show you because uh, this is a Panasonic, uh, no, sorry, it's a Nor Philips Norelco, <laughs> my mistake. Sorry, Phillips. Um, and it's got, you know, the shaver here, but then also on this side, a beard trimmer, which I can, you know, increase the, the size of it. So all of that in one, which is great if you're a guy with a beard, all rechargeable. Um, so I use that, of course, every day. Uh, you know, and I have toothbrush and deodorant and, and different things in this bag, and I like to keep that separate from uh, the rest of my stuff just to, yeah, just to keep it easy to organize. Uh, so this is actually a bag I'm going to be checking. We're flying on an airline this time that is China Southern Airlines. Normally, like when we started traveling, we would just carry on everything. And that's really what we prefer to do because we don't like the risk of having our bags lost or stolen uh, if we check them or getting damaged and then waiting for them when you get to the other end. And it's kind of a pain. So we prefer to just carry everything on but some airlines now are not allowing that. China Southern gives us two free bags to check, up to 23 kilos, but then the carry-ons, they only allow five kilograms, so it's like I can hardly carry on even our electronics, so that's a little bit frustrating. But I'll go through a little bit more of what's, what's in this bag, I guess, just to give you an idea of the junk that I carry these days. I try to be really minimalistic, but not all the time. This is an old tripod that I want to get rid of. I'll be selling that probably when we get to Canada. An old phone that I'm going to be giving to my daughter, Emily, because she's going to take her first solo trip. Uh, she's 12 years old, and in a couple weeks, she's going to be flying to another part of Canada to stay with a friend for three weeks. So she's really excited about that, but I'll give her this old phone to keep in touch with us. This is an Android watch that I thought would be a really cool thing, and I, I do enjoy this when we're, when we're out certain places. It has a little GPS on my wrist, so if we're walking places, I love to have that rather than pulling my phone out and seeing where are we. I can just look at my, look at my wrist for that. Uh, these are just cords and, and then some documents here with like birth certificates and things that, uh, that we've needed. So that's pretty much all that's right there. On this side, we have more cords, 
I have an audio cable which I use sometimes to plug a, a speaker or a piano into different things, uh, USB charger, uh, extra shoelaces that came with these shoes I bought. These are just hair clips to pull my hair back. I couldn't buy like three, I had to buy 20 of them. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. Looks like, okay, some uh, power adapter for Indonesia, Europe. Um, this is a adapter to go on an iPod charger. Um, and then just, yeah, this is like a beautiful cleaning cloth. My mom gave that to me. You have to wipe a camera or a computer screen with or something like that. Okay. And then in here, this is this is the the meat of the bag. This I love these little packing cubes. They're really nice and tight. This is Eagle Creek, I think, makes these. And you press all the air out, and it makes it nice and small. This is my underwear and socks, and these are all my shirts, pants, sweaters, and jacket. These are all my clothes right here. Everything I own. Ding. That's all my clothes. <laughs> um, and then I have a microphone, a very high high quality. Well, kind of high quality, Samson COU10 or something. I'll post the exact link in the video notes. But this is great for, I don't know if I'm recording a video, Emily likes to use it for her music recording. And that's USB, so it plugs right into the computer. And this bag, as I mentioned, is kind of electronic, so it has a battery here and you plug it in and charge it. And, uh, some really funky features, but really, I think it just adds to the weight and is unnecessary. So I don't think I'll buy another geeky bag like this for a while unless uh, unless something really stands out to me. So that is that. Now, I, I want to show you another bag that I'm going to be bringing. This is this is going to be my checked bag or my... It's really a carry-on size. So I travel with one carry-on bag and one backpack. So this is my carry-on bag. My backpack is... Let me grab it. All right, this is a really cool backpack. I, I love this one. So this, it looks like it's like a regular suitcase and it rolls, has wheels. But the back here unzips. This folds down over the wheels, attaches with, with Velcro, and you can then wear it as a backpack. It's a little heavy with the wheels, but it's really not that bad. It's quite lightweight. Um, just heavier than it would be without the wheels. Now there are a few other things I really like about this bag, and I'll, if I'm just traveling a short trip, this or even a, a long trip, this is often all I really need in this bag. I can fit everything in here, and I've traveled just with this bag before, and, and with less even, but um, let me show you another thing I really like about it. So sometimes in some airlines, especially if they're small planes, if you try to carry on a bag like this, they'll say fine, uh, but sometimes they'll say no, it's too big. So what I like to do, is you can unzip this section because airline policy is often completely mindless you know you can you can carry on a certain you know size of bag but you know I, they, they, anyway it separates into two two separate bags so then i have this backpack so if they don't like one big one i can say all right i've got this one and this one even though the weight is the same you know it and it, it'll fit in the overhead either way uh, anyway, this is a very small, lightweight backpack. I'll usually put my laptop in here, uh, which is currently sitting there on the desk, but I'll have my laptop in here. Uh, right now I have a paper, some documents I printed to review for a, a speech I'm giving at a conference to practice on the plane. Put my passports in here, my ear earphones, uh, some more chargers. Essential oils. I found this, Mom. Thanks. I, I thought I'd lost it, but I found it. My Kindle. I guess I should show you from this direction so you can kind of see better. I really like backpacks, and, or um, luggage and backpacks that have this type of thing where you have pen holders and all these little pockets. It is so hard to find just a regular piece of carry-on luggage that has this. It's usually just a plain empty thing. Small business luggage will have this but not big carry-ons. And that's why I love this backpack because it can fit so much like a regular size carry-on, but also allows me to organize my stuff a little bit, a little bit more. And it has plenty of pockets. So there's this little one. And, and then this in this big one, big pocket. Right now I have nothing in there because I'm doing something a little different this trip. Oh, well, actually I do have my, my Bose speakers, which I showcased in another video. And then I have uh, an envelope of money and this has like bank uh, security code things and what else is in there? 
I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> but what I'm doing unique this time is that I, I actually have recently uh, purchased a third bag for my camera because I, I really enjoyed photography and I've upgraded my photography equipment uh, quite a bit. I now have three lenses um, and this is my camera backpack. So what, I, what I'm doing now is sticking this inside of this and then wearing it as one bag since they only let you carry one backpack on. It's one backpack even though it's really three. <laughs> so uh, here I have my sunglasses and prescription glasses really. Uh, this is where I would normally keep my tripod which the camera is standing on and a few other camera supplies. Uh, if you haven't seen this backpack, this is Mind Shift bag. It's so cool. This is like my, well, you can see. I'll show you how, how it works. You can buckle this part here. I don't know if you can see me. And then all I have to do if I want to access my lenses when I'm out and about, see, and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a camera or have a camera carrying this expensive equipment. I'm just wearing a backpack. But if I go like this, I can flip it around, pull out my camera, all my lenses are here, and I can take pictures galore, close it up, swing it back around, buckle it up. Ta-da. Love this bag. So uh, I sometimes, in fact, when I went on my silent retreat uh, last week, this is the only bag I brought. I just brought a, you know, an extra shirt and a few things in here along with the camera, and it was, it was plenty. Um, but this is, I wear this often as we are just out and about sightseeing. Almost everywhere we go, I take it so I can have my camera with me. But that is pretty much all of the stuff that I'm, I'm taking with me. Uh, we have a few other things that, that we're all, that we're probably going to throw into an additional checked bag because we're going to be so long in Canada. I've got a Mac keyboard and trackpad that I'm bringing uh, that we'll check. And a few, a few little books and things. So maybe, maybe I'll show you some of that now. So here are some of the things that we're still trying to figure out what we want to bring with us and what we want to leave here. These are some of Emily's books and music and uh, here's some of my stuff. A few little photography equipment pieces, some business cards, my, the keyboard and trackpad, uh, an underwater camera, uh, and books. Uh, I love these. I, haven't, I don't know if I've shown you these yet. These are family travel books. I have put these photo books together. This was this was the first one that I did from years 2009 to 2013 and it's just a shows all, a whole bunch of photos from, from our travels and it's been a, a really great way for us to kind of uh, reminisce about our experiences and now I've been doing one every year so this was 2014 and you can yeah, just see yeah, I don't know if I'm showing that in the right angle for you to see it but um, we really enjoy these. The kids love flipping through them too and remembering where we've been and you know, all the places that we've been and the people we've met through our travels. So that is, yeah, and then Emily's got some slippers there. We're, we're, we're still trying to figure out what we want to bring. We have a lot of suitcases here that we've kind of collected over the years. Uh, some of them we'll, we'll fill with this and just stick in a storage room while we're gone. Um, but I don't know how many we'll, we'll end up checking. We'll probably just stick with, and they're all carry-on size, but we'll probably just stick with one carry-on bag each, a backpack each, and then maybe an extra bag, maybe two, if we, if we need it to check. So, that's it. Hi, Em. Hello. Ready to go to Victoria? Yes. <laughs> How's packing gone for you? Perfect, I'm basically done. Alright, got everything in that bag there? Um, still got my electronics out. So, How's your day been with the packing? Yeah, pretty easy. Yeah, in the morning was a bit stressful because everyone else was stressed, but I started packing three days in advance, so I'm pretty relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Marie's bag, which she has stuffed a little bit full. <laughs> we might need to uh, have her get rid of some of this stuff or, or just check some of it this time since we're actually taking more than, than we normally do. And I don't want to leave my ears No. How are you guys going to stay in touch? Skype. Skype. Mm. We're going to send each other pictures every day. Every day? Unless we can. Cool. Hi, Asia. Hi. Are you getting ready to go to Victoria? Yep. Are you excited? Yes. What do you think about going on the plane? Are you ready to get on a plane today? No. I do not want a plane. not excited about the plane. Why don't you like planes? 
because they make me plain sick sometimes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so tell me, what do you have in your bag? What did you bring with you to Victoria? Oh, well, I bring my little pet shops and a lot of other toys, but I can't remember them all. <laughs> We usually pack earlier than the day of, but since our flight leaves late, we thought we don't really want to spread it over lots of days and we'll just hurry and do it. So we've been trying. It's been a big job. This is all the stuff we're giving away. And yeah, I've been organizing my purse. I get easily distracted when I'm trying to pack. <laughs> so I've got to pack my bags basically and then the bags we're checking. And I have to sort through a few more things in one of the closets. I'm not, I have a lot of essential oils and I don't know which ones to bring and which ones to leave and I don't want to bring too many because I don't want to have to travel with a lot but I want to bring a lot so dilemmas but it's going well. Sorting through artwork earlier of the girls and organizing and finding things that I had in storage that I didn't realize I had because even though we travel and are constantly getting rid of things, we still are finding things that we have too much of that we can't even keep track of what we have. And so it's kind of, yeah, we should go through our things more often than we already do and we already go through them once every month or two. So yeah, <laughs> stuff is consuming. <laughs> Uh, every time we move, we end up collecting a few extra things that, you know, we end up not needing. Whether it's clothes we've grown out of, toys the kids no longer want, or just somehow things we collect. Even if we're just in a place for a month, somehow we end up collecting something. So, uh, and when we're in Bali, especially, uh, it's we enjoy uh, being able to give the things that we've collected that we no longer need uh, to our staff. And it's fun watching them go through the bags and... Uh, look for things that they want for their kids, or for themselves, or or for them to give away to their friends and relatives. And uh, it feels good to go. So, so last day in Bali this year. We'll be here next year again for maybe two or three months, maybe four. Uh, but now it's on to new adventures. So, uh, see you soon in Victoria.